Hello and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video, I'm going to cover a very simple yet interesting topic how we can use OAuth 2.0 as authorization when invoking APIs from Postman. The way it is configured from Postman is very simple, but yet many people on this channel and on my website have been asking on and off that what are the exact steps that we need to follow. So I thought of creating this video just to explain all the steps that we need to follow in order to uh, do the required configurations in Postman for invoking APIs uh, with OAuth 2 as authorization. So first of all, let's see what are the things that we need in order to demonstrate all this. The first thing that we need is an access token URL, uh, which will be used to generate the access tokens. And uh, in order to demonstrate all this, I have already WSO2 API manager local version running on my local machine. So I will be showing you the URL that we will be using for that as an access token URL. And also, uh, if you are not using WSO2 API manager, uh, it doesn't matter. Even in, in the other cases, if you are using some other authorization server specifically, or if you are using some other API manager, in any case, uh, all of them do expose access token URL that you can use. Uh, for generation of access tokens and they do provide you options to do refresh of the access token as well as normally uh, these authorization servers do provide you another url that you can use for revocation of the U, uh, access tokens so the second important thing is that we have to select what kind of grant type we are going to use as oauth 2.2 provides us multiple types of grant types for this demonstration we will be using client credentials grant type and in order to use client credentials grant type, we need two more uh, fields, uh, two more uh, data elements, which is client secret and client key. For these two uh, elements, client key and client secret, in case of WS2 API manager or in any other API manager, uh, you go to developer portal and you create an application. Once you create an application and subscribe to some uh, API under that, obviously, then you do get uh, your client key and client secret. And those client key and secret you can use later uh, when you are going to uh, consume the APIs from any of the client. So the third and obvious requirement is that we need to have some live API that we can invoke. So for this purpose, I have already published an API in WS2 API Manager. And that API has been subscribed using the application that we created in developer portal. I will show you all this. And then uh, we, we should be ready to consume that using all the required configurations from the Postman. Now we are clear on the required uh, elements that we need and all of these are already with me. Now let's uh, jump into the demonstration. So here I have already uh, listed all the details in a notepad. You can see that the token URL that I will be using is localhost colon 8243 slash token. This is the token URL that is provided by WSO2 API manager, which is running in my local machine. And then I have already generated an application from where I've copied client key and client secret. And then this is the endpoint that we will be uh, trying uh, using the OR2 as authorization. And this is localhost colon 8243 slash test slash user. Let me show you all this from the API manager as well. If you see here, I have opened a developer portal and here I have created an application with the name default application. If I click on this application and you have, you have options of production keys and sandbox keys. And in the sandbox keys, we can see that I have uh, already a consumer key and consumer secret. So these two uh, I have copied to the notepad and then uh, you, you can use these. Uh, and if we see access token URL, we can verify from here as well said so this is the access token url and this has been already copied by me and then i have already done the subscription under the subscription i have made the subscription to a sample api and this sample api is uh, uh, having slash test slash the version number this is the url for for this api now we have everything ready now let's go to postman and from the postman we are going to do the uh, required configurations so the first thing that i have to do is that i have to pick the URL for the API that we will be consuming. And this is a get method. So I will just write localhost and then the port slash test slash users. I don't need to provide the version because in WS2 API manager, I have already set it as default. Otherwise I would have to put test slash one. But in this case, I will not be putting that. If I try it without anything, I should be getting an error. And you can see that we got an error stating that, let me just show it to you clearly. It says that invalid credentials because we haven't provided any credentials. 
now if i go to authorization here we have different types of authorizations uh, uh, option available and for this demonstration we are going to use the option of or 2.0 so once i select or 2.0 here now i need to provide all the required configurations so uh, the first thing i will do is that i will provide i can specify some name let's name it as test and then the grant type what kind of grant type we are we are going to use we have multiple options and the type we are going to use is client credential which requires client key and secret so here i need to provide access token url which i already copied to notepad so i'll just pick it from there and then after that i need client id and client secret Client ID is named as client key as well some places uh, like in case of WSO2 API manager as well. So uh, it is the same thing. So ID and key is same and then we have to provide the secret. So let me copy the secret as well. And after providing the secret there is another option we can have scope as well. So sometimes you have your uh, APIs uh, operations or API resources uh, scopes specific so that it is available to only people with some specific scope but in our case right now we are using default scope so we don't need to provide any scope and after the configuration of these elements now we can click on this button get new access token so you can see it says Auth authentication completed and then uh, if we click on proceed we get the access token so i just select this option use token so it's going to use this token for the call and now if i click on send i sh i'm expecting a valid response and we can see that we got a valid response with 200 OK and it has all the data that has been uh, provided by the API. So this is pretty much simple how we configure all this uh, from the postman and uh, using this approach you can always uh, use uh, OAuth 2.2 as authorization mechanism when, when consuming APIs. That's it from this video. I hope that the information will be useful for you. And if you have any questions, you can write in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, for further information about relevant topics, you can visit my website as well, tutorialspedia.com, where I have uh, plenty of tutorials uh, covering different uh, areas of interest for integration, security, and related topics. Thank you very much.